So, this is Zanvoort, the latest circuit to hold a round of the iRacing 2013 Classic Teams Championship. The challenging course was a test for the drivers as the tire wear proved to be significant near the end of the race. Zanvoort, located west of Amsterdam, is made up of 12 name corners, including the most famous Tarzan. With a mix of Formula One and Aurora Championship cars, let's review the starting lineup. In pole, Dorval, followed by Pickford. Second row, Boren and Stevens. Third row, Hatches and Walsh. Fourth row, Winfield and Pascal. Fifth row, Anderson and Vandenberg. Sixth row, Schmidt and Poole. Seventh row, Matthews and Ford. And on the eighth row, Craig Fuller and the private entry. Let's go on to the start. Pickford gets the jump on Dorval but suffers wheel spin, putting him back into second as Winfield drops two places to ninth. The field rounds turn one without incident, with Dorval leading Pickford followed by Boren. Lap four sees the chasing pack round the final corner where lap traffic holds up Vandenberg, allowing Poole to gain position. On lap six, the slide by Pascal in the Renault causes Winfield to spin in sympathy. Poole collides with the Benetton, but continues a short distance. Winfield rejoins, relegated to 12th, as Poole's Zach speed retires with suspension damage in the next corner. Winfield loses traction on lap seven, letting Ford by into 12th. Lap 8 sees Matthews catch the slipstream of Schmidt Zach speed, culminating in an overtake into the first corner. Lap 9, Pascal goes wide into the final corner but manages to keep going as Vandenberg and then Matthews overtake. Lap 11, Pickford in second place catches up to a damaged back marker. This allows Bourne to close the gap and then gain second place as Pickford goes into the gravel trap. Pickford is able to rejoin in third in front of Stevens. Lap 14 finds Anderson going wide into the difficult S-bend, letting Vandenberg and the ATS through. Lap 16, Ford pulls over on the main straight, perhaps due to an electrics or gearbox fault as Winfield sails by. On lap 17, Stevens spins as he battles with Pickford for third. Hatches slips by on the inside to take fourth place while Walsh is forced onto the grass before returning to the track. Vandenberg in the ATS gains a spot as Stevens resumes racing. Lap 18 finds the S-Bend causing more issues as Walsh loses the back end on exit. Hatches takes the position. Lap 21, as Anderson enters the final corner, his rear tires break traction and he skillfully keeps the car away from the wall as Matthews and Pascal go by. Lap 22, Walsh shows signs of tire wear as Vandenberg takes advantage. A 
hard fought battle on lap 24 sees Walsh hold off Stevens into Tarzan. The close battle ends in disappointment for Stevens as they touch and the Team Agostini driver's car hits the barrier. Walsh's degrading tires show once again on lap 27 as Matthews makes the pass into sixth place. Lap 29 sees Anderson by Walsh. Anderson repays the favor as he goes a bit wide and spins. Walsh back in front. Lap 32 with Pickford in third. Hatches and Vandenberg battle close behind. Hatches breaks late offline and goes wide, allowing Vandenberg into fourth. On the penultimate lap, heavy tire wear is apparent as Pascal overtakes Anderson. A strange turn of events in the final lap. Miscommunication between the pit wall and Pickford sees him taking the slow down lap one lap early. A dominating performance by Mark Dorval sees him taking the well deserved win. Sam Boren follows up in second, a 1 2 for the Acela Squadra course team. Vandenberg takes third place for Team ATS. And fast lap goes to Mark Dorval, a fine performance which will certainly catch the eye of the top team. The final standings as the teams now begin their preparation for the flight to Canada to compete next week at Mosport. See you next time.